so. Shut up, you frody ass bitches. Anywho, welcome back to Moved Out. It's been Moved Out for months. Move Out vlog. Or whatever this series is gonna turn into. Potential frody, you don't fucking say. 180 dot anno is saying the same shit. We are back, and I'm gonna pop in a few snap clips right here. Oh, well, how do I hold pot? Because they already have the door upstairs open, so I thought, oh, well, since I have the key down here, I'm gonna go down here and start to pack. How this is gonna go, I don't know, but here we are. Ah, I found my protective glasses, lol. <coughs> Just don't question why I have a Sweden map from uh, whatever the fuck. Um, I don't know. Um, what year is this shit? I don't know. Point is, don't ask why I got a Sweden country map. And a Norwegian country map from like 99 kron um, ISB. Then the shit from, I don't know, from some time. One box filled. Medium you say, I could have gone for large, but. Uh, I wanted to get them home too. So now it's second box and try and see what we can figure out. Because my idea here is get most of the box in a box and box that needs to go up to box goes up to box. Get that put in the back. Move the doors forward. Move this back. Move the tires forward. So that way they are easy. Yeah, I forgot I had like this one pair of shoes that's like yours down in here. So, so, so good, good shit. I just got a glorious idea. Paint marker and just write the orientation on the inside of the tire where no one will see it anyways. So then I don't have to keep noting it down everywhere. Uh, ska jeg ta spør? Hvorfor at bakdekken? Jeg håper av. Faen meg... Du, 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 du. Faen meg 195, 65 er 15, 95 til. Ige 65. Og framdekkene er faen meg... Faen meg... Hakke... Hakke pelita, faen meg 8. Ok, den har gitt dem den. Håver. Her er det status. Of the booth. We got tires. We got uh, two boxes there packed together. We got the sleeper PC down in there. Lego and whatever stuck to bed. Honeycomb yoke has come in its box. And whatever else. So go good shot. Trash. We shall deal with later. Whatever else. Now we try and bring all of this up. Come on. Yeah, this new key system is not the greatest shit on planet Earth, but all right. So yeah, I've been going home down in the cellar. So we got two boxes. 40 liters that's been used down in the cellar to sort shit down in there. We now have brought some boxes up and we have started on one box and we have started on a plastic box and we have started to tear out of all of this shit. So I guess this officially marks the start of me prepping for move out I suppose. So you remember that municipality apartment I talked about? I believe I talked about that in like my previous video or in whatever previous video or whatever I don't even know anymore 
Well, it's a 48 square meter apartment for about 11 grand a month before power and uh, I'm going to be having a look at that in uh, the 1st of October, so next Tuesday. And then on Friday that same week, if I can't get any answer back from the other apartments I've been looking at, it's going to be the day I sign a contract for that apartment uh, and we temporarily move in there. So that's you know fun shit. And then probably what's going to happen is that I'm going to move in there. Once I've gotten everything moved over there, then you know the people with the other apartments is going to come around and say, Ah, the apartment is here, me be like, ugh. So then I'll have to, you know, fucking cancel my contract with the other apartment immediately. And then I got 30 days where I don't have to pay a single or shit and whatever to get moved out of there into the new apartment. So that is probably what's gonna happen. And you, the point is that probably next weekend is when I'm moving out of here for all I know. And then I have 30 days to quote unquote rip everything out from here and clean up and whatever else. So this move may be happening sooner than what I imagined and to the wrong location. So yeah. So so here we are. So I'm gonna continue packing the audio stuff down in this box. You know obviously what's already in bins is just gonna stay in bins but... All of this is gonna have to be consolidated into one box. My SM7D is still gonna be hanging. Uh, because I'm gonna be using that for streaming or whatever. So that still needs to hang. Media computer, I don't know. I may pack down the media computer, take out the graphics card and then put this in a box. And just use the YouTube directly on the TV. Uh, even though I won't have my equalizer, uh, just so I can get that packed down and ready to go. Uh, which means really the entire speaker wire install we did here was pretty much for nothing. So good shit because it's gonna have to be torn down like over the next 30 days, so that's you know nice shit. And that also means I gotta have a hefty conversation with Oscar about how we're gonna do all of this, so good shit. Ah, hello there. Where the fuck did that brush go? Uh, yeah, when was the media computer last cleaned out? Well... We, we don't speak about that, it will get a proper clean out later, but uh, yeah, we are all, we, well, I pretty much dug what I can as far as audio gear out and put in that one box. I have cleared out pretty much my entire TV bench. The only thing we have as far as entertainment here currently is the internet plugged right into the TV and my soundboard. There you go. It's the only thing we currently have for quote unquote entertainment. I have disconnected the media computer, which needs a hefty clean. But that won't happen before we're in a new place which, well, depending on how shit goes, it's either gonna be the new place for like temporary shit or we're gonna be stuck in the new place for a while. Because I have a contract signing on Friday next week, a viewing on Tuesday. And uh, if I can get a response from the other people with the other apartment I was talking to, well, look, with that it, I'm gonna have to just pick up that other apartment to not risk being out in apartment because, because because of the amount of traffic there currently is on those apartments, well.
is the only apartments they have available. Which means I'm gonna be stuck having to pick that apartment just to not be at risk of being without an apartment. So, you know. All of that, just, I am gonna be so dead. And this whole ordeal is over, holy shit. So there is the box full of my DVD player and whatever else, cables, the TV bench, switch, whatever, the TV box is in that box out in there, ready to get sent back to Telenor. Power saving, you say. Well, hello, hello. Uh, that's how full this one is, which I'll maybe trickle some stuff into that. The audio box, so the entire left here is empty. So I could bring that door up and smack that door on. Holy shit. <sighs> so now I can vacuum there, I can move the power for the sub. Probably over there, because I can probably move the sub there now. Whatever. My VR stuff I'll probably put down eventually as well, because it's not like I'm gonna get used for that anytime soon. Holy shit, okay, my feet are dying. The clock is 2.20 p.m. I have walked 10,000 steps already. <sighs> and what would you know it? I may have to go out and get more moving boxes. We shall gladly do today and not have to go out rattling around tomorrow or over the weekend. So over the weekend I can just concentrate on getting as much shit down into boxes as I can. So literally the only thing left to call and call Tierra here is gonna be my main system. And well, whatever else. And the server lock, so good shit. <sighs> Which means I gotta try and empty that external drive so that way that's as empty as she is, can be. So that way I don't have to slap up the 710 for whatever reason. Hello, another Ethernet cable. Yeah, it's uh, hefty days, hefty days. Oh well, we are about to get on the road again, because I can already see I need more moving boxes. Oh great shit, it looks like it's about to rain, so that's you know, always great shit. Oh my god, so I'll be on the way. Holy shit, this is gonna be a great couple of days, and a great weekend and a half. Hello, new trick bag. I'm on my way. <laughs> ah, hello there. Yeah, I'm getting used to trying to find my emotes on phone again because... Ah! Hum! Hum! Yellow media computer is over there. Hello! I was supposed to be in the stream, you idiot. Also, what's my soundbar on? So, we are back. I got my coffee. What's the clock, you may ask? Well, I'm glad you asked. She's 4.34 a.m. in the morning. Huh, you're awake early in the morning for once? Well, I mean, normally I would still be awake at this time and go to bed in half an hour, but... Uh, yeah, I went to bed at like 6. Something. Rather said, slogged on the couch. Woke up at like 11, almost 12, I think, to hit the toilet. Fell asleep again, then I woke up at 4. To, well, basically be laying completely on top of my arm. And uh, I pretty much had no movement in my left arm at all. Because the blood circulation has been cut off to this arm for God knows how long. But I got my circulation back, I can move my arm again. So that's, you know, good shit. Oh, there we go. 
So what I've been trying to say is while I've also been interacting with chat and whatever else. Like <laughs> oh, I am back and where did I get yesterday? Well, I updated you guys right before I went out to be able to buy another pack of boxes. So you got literal 10, 40 liter boxes standing in the corner by the door. After I came back home, I made meatballs. I split it up a bag in half, made meatballs. After I eat meatballs, I continued watching the Dabiori stream or whatever. That I believe I was watching before I even went out, I don't even remember. <sighs> After that, I believe I went into another stream. I don't even know how much more I packed and then I just went to sleep. Because my brain was not in a state of mind where it could think enough to fucking pack. So good shit, now we're here. <coughs> She's almost 5 a.m. It is uh, 24 degrees in here. It's actually not that warm in here. Oh, well. 23 is where I usually like to have it. Granted, now I just woke up some kind of cold up. Oh, well. And there again. First of all, we got one computer lesson running in here right now. Second of all, Alexa, what's the temperature outside? Right now, it's 6 degrees Celsius. Today, expect a high of 6 degrees. Yeah, we could say winter is coming. So, it seems a lot more through that door right now, which in general is a good thing, because it helps actually keep the temps in this room under control with all of the computer hardware here. Like this, it should still work. Hi, hi Rowan, how is Rowan? Yeah. And meatballs, So we are back. I forgot. I had. <laughs> I stopped eating your meatballs so and I really get a hair in my mouth and almost choked on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Found my random ass Logitech Bluetooth keyboard I forgot I had. So I can now shut here easily. And I got meatballs. So good shit. Welcome to international space travels. <laughs> I'm out. I'm hauling cargo again. So I just got done recording that on the video. That I'm going to do a few cargo hauls just on my own. Do a belly from Tille to the Lage Center. Okay, so shit. So I suppose I shall check that then. But yeah, so I'm gonna do a few hauls really right now, just off camera, whatever, just do whatever, try and earn up some cash, whatnot, from what I lost when I crashed that ever as hard, but uh, so good shit, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Oh. <sighs> so we are back. And uh, what has he done? Not accused us of. Uh, shit. Uh.
<laughs> Lol. Ej, satan, helvet. Vel. It's gone work, it's just gonna be tight. But oh well, that is box number two for all of that jazz. Where the fuck is my marker? Because this one needs to stay, because I have shit that needs to go on to there. But I also have, you know, whatever else that I need the tool for to take the access point down and stuff like that. So, you know, it's good, good shit. And then I got this random ass CD of the region simulator or whatever. All oh, that shit will go into its own fucking box or whatever. <sighs> All this aluminum, I don't even know. I'm not gonna bother. This shit, I'll maybe just rig it up or whatever, or just shock it in the corner, whatever. You are for the wireless bro, Banan Panna. Then we have you for all of that. I, I, I don't care. Really. I don't care about this one either. What's down here? Manual. This shit which is never gonna be used. Because if anything that's a part of the audio system. So if anything that will be just, you know converted at the actual PDU plug, so no one cares. <sighs> I'll take care of all this, I don't care. I don't actually, I actually don't care. Yeah, a lot of this is just trash and shit. The same with this stuff, a bunch of trash. Whatever. So, we are back. And I don't know how far we really got before I turned you guys off, but... We have a second box of PC parts and random shit. Anime shelf has been emptied and put into that box. Random shit has landed in that box. This box has always been here. I've made a new box for Johnson control, automation, electrical, whatever. Uh, that's a good choice. You guys saw me sort out all of the shit in the hallway. So I haven't really done jack shit more there really. So good choice. So I don't really know. I think I'll make a new box. Good shit. And then I'll take and uh, empty all of this, which reminds me I got all these older cables in it. Oh my lord. Yeah, one box is going to be filled of literal movies and books and whatever else. Yeah, this is great shit. Oh god. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. We now got six boxes already with stuff. Oh wow. Well, seven. Technically eight. So, we are back. And... TV bench is empty, we got all the movies and shit up in here. A few books, whatever, what not, reverons. I still have the... Uh, Rosario Vampire series up in here, which I'm debating putting in that box or putting in the box I have downstairs. Whatever, this needs to go in their own box. Uh, 
Rack, Stuffel Primus Justain the Rack. Besides from like the cables, what not, which will be put like up in whatever else. <sighs> All the computer stuff and whatever, but then we also need at least one box for clothes and shit. Then we need another box for all the posters and whatever else of all of that. Uh, but everything that's like inside the electrical panel will probably still stay in the electrical panel. Unless I take and rip everything out and put them in that other box with like Johnson control and electrical and shit. Whatever. I don't know. So, where are we? Well, we have one, two, three. Did I tape this box? Yes, I taped that box. We got one, two, three, four boxes, which is now taped. And pretty much full. That box can get some stuff, then there will be one box for anything setup related. Peripherals, cables, power, whatever the fuck. Then there will probably guarantee be another box for the stuff in the rack. Uh, so that is, you know. Uh, two boxes, then one box will be for clothes and all that kind of jazz. Yeah. And then at least one box needs to be for, you know, kitchen stuff. So yeah, if I have enough boxes, I don't know. So yeah, I don't even remember how many boxes there even was during the original movie. Here. Uh. Oh well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, yeah, I think we need more boxes. Yeah. Yeah, I think we need more boxes. The next day. Morning. Oh. So where are we? You may ask, well... It is 3.48 a.m. I went to bed at like, what? 8.30? Or went to bed, went to sleep. Would be the more appropriate thing to say. <laughs> Shape or form, kind of. Well, I wouldn't say I've been sleeping the best I've ever slept, but I've been laying here rolling around for a while now, and it's pretty clear. Oh, I don't want to sleep more. Boss and their security was fucked. You know, here is the thing. People go to ah, say, boss is grace, boss is that, boss is what. You know. I won't say both the sound systems are bad, but 
But I wouldn't call them great. They are way too bright in the high end and the base is just... <sighs> if you go to the professional PA side of things and you fucking crank the subwoofers as high as you can, it ain't half bad, but there just ain't enough power in them. The oh, the same with both car systems. It's like they're good, but they could be better. It's like yeah. So we are back, and where are we? Well, last I updated you guys, it was well, basically after four. I don't remember if I really updated you guys after that. She is now basically 8 a.m. Uh, I've been sitting here. I played Star Citizen. I didn't get jack shit done because the terminals for the freight elevators were broken yet again. So I didn't end up really getting anything done. So I did that watching team. Now I'm watching fucking Cameron Gray's like house install or whatever. What not one day. So good shit. So, I have had, I fried up some eggs and bacon, so I had some eggs and bacon, so I have eaten and shit. Other than that, I have done jack shit, but pretty much the plan for today is... Get that in a box. Get the start maybe tearing out the rack. To some semi-VS degree. I will still leave in the stuff that I actually need in there, like, uh, well, I don't know if I'll leave it in there, but basically, what we still need, A12 still needs to be connected, TV feed still needs to be connected, but other than that, pretty much every other cable as far as patch panel and shit can be unplugged, because, uh, it's not like we need network for the heating right now. It's not like we need network for, you know, fucking whatever else. So most of that can be removed. Two hours later. So, we are back. Yeah, bet. Um, now I got done looking through my YouTube or whatever. She is 10 a.m. And, uh, yeah. So here we are. So, I don't know exactly yet what I'm gonna do. Although I am, well I was, but I'm here and I forgot. Gonna transfer over the one video. So I am back. We are in the cellar. With this whole new key system and whatever else. Yeah, that base reverberates a bit bigger than it. Then we have these locks, which are a stupid pain in the ass. What I mean by that is that you need to insert the key perfectly. You need to insert it perfectly straight in order to get the actually budge. That's kind of a pain. But anywho, here is down in the cellar. Here is where I sorted shit out here the other day. Uh, so basically what I'm gonna have out of here is the 760T case, the uh, Rosario Vampire box, my KRK RP5 boxes, uh, and the really two screen boxes, but screens are not really my priority right now. So good shit. This was basically the screens I'm thinking about taking down is one of my two K screens and the 1920 000 screen is what I'm thinking about taking down. Packing down my RP5s and the manga. Uh, get the monitor off the wall in the bedroom. And then we have one foot. Now the question is, is that one of these has a foot? 
Wallabies does not have a foot, and I'm pretty sure it's that boy that does not have a foot. And I'll be correct. This one has a foot. Which means that is the one with all the foods, which means you will have to go on the one screen and then the other screen. Well, but what that means is that I can steal the foot out of one of my screen boxes. Because those two have stands. Because I should have no sight, what's the point of So basically, that's the point we, we have to work with. And you guys are basically dead, so I suppose really. We can leave it at that for now. And I'm gonna try to get this royal legion or whatever it is up the fucking stairs. Do video video. So oh well, I mean it's not that heavy. It's not that it's heavy, that's the problem. The problem is that it's a... Uh, it chunk. It's a it chunky shit. That, that's, you know, that, that's what's the problem here. It chunky shit. But over. I suppose. Here we are. Oh, so we are back. Oh, so med computer or previous computer GPU has been removed. The rest just stays whatever. Uh, and I don't even know where this box took the way. So it's good shit. Uh, I'll find a place for those. So, this plus is probably fucking over till the oval. Is this the way to put piece in the box? Probably not. But she's in the box. And that's all that I really care about. So, that is good and whatever else. That video got done transferring so we can uh, take a long. Shut that down, did you trigger? So we are back after a great time in there. Uh, ironically speaking, uh, we are back. And I, um, cloth, come here. <laughs> Just remember to be very careful when you take the actual drivers. So, now, I believe, oh no, no, wait a minute, don't mind me, I am, I am smart boy, don't, don't mind me, it is this in the front and the other one in the back, that's, that's how it is, because then the front takes you and then the curvature of, ah, I also for war. Okay, you were rolling easy shit. Are you the ticket boy? Yeah, yes. Uh. 
There we go. Then we throw this and the silica down on one side. Handy dandy and whatever. Then we throw the high sea cable down on the other side. Then we put you on the front. We put you on the back. There we go. Then KRK systems, you see. Hi. So there we go. Oh, there is one RP5. See, I may need to go down and get whatever to make this work, but oh well. Although it's gonna be hella odd to have to look down at my screens now, instead of straight ahead as I'm used to. Since I've been running this, you know, monitor on whatever since I don't know, for like a year now, maybe. I think it was when I came back from Christmas 23, or was it 22? I don't even remember. Something, uh, something like that. Then you just go back on there, just so we can keep track of ya. Yeah, this is uh, um, ah, this is foot inside of foot. What the fuck? Um, okay, so you could have used like a smaller one or whatever. Um, RM. Okay, so there's a new mounting system too, apparently. Then it turns out we need the... Uh, I don't know... Three maybe? We don't even need to pull them fully out. Okay, so there's a new mounting system too, apparently. That's always good to know. So it's a good shit. Then but then, ah, I see. So we just fucking, so we just do that then and then just screw this in. I may, I may have forgotten how these displays work. Or these stands work, I mean. May I have forgotten that. Maybe. But uh, that does mean I gotta find another stand. <coughs> Still. On screen. On stand. There you go. Really, I think you guys get the point. But I'm gonna continue to crack on. And basically, I'll put this on, and then I'll end off, and then when I come back, I should have this entire table cleaned, this off, and uh, screens and all should be on the table and connected, and everything should be working again, so good shot. But, uh, yeah. They could have done. Uh, they could have done this system a tad better. Cause even with a bendy boy, that one is a pain. Well, I guess I should show you guys demounting this whole shit. <laughs> Cause that's fun shit. It is. Because 
what this thing is held in boy <clears throat> is one gigantic ass plate in the bottom here with like a whatever else bolt <laughs> so yeah that's fun shit and if my shit was not like broken is it a 19? It's either a 19 or a 17. I don't fucking remember. Because here is a 19 and I don't think it's a 19. Don't think. I think it's a 17. Yoink. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a 17. Ah, oh, hello dear. Hello power cable. Please don't hit me in the head. Welcome back to a... Uh, Nikolai Vrenchy Vrench, whatever the fuck. Now, question of the day, are you becoming wobbly wobbly up there? Or are you like actually standing? Okay, you're like actually standing, good. Oh, I forgot how long this bolt was. Rus, yes. Holy shit. No. Now, the fun shit here is that. There is a fucking cable gram there. My question is where the fuck do you send all that out? So we are back. And the computer is alive again, although. Uh, uh, we do not speak about this. It's fine. It's temporary. Okay, it's it's temporary. We don't speak about this. It's temporary. Oh. So good shit. Good shit. So that means I can still play games. I can still edit off of my external drive or whatever. and uh, not need the servers and shit, but I still have my main powerhouse rigged up. So, where are we, you may ask? Well, I'm glad you asked. Half the rack is off and unplugged. So basically, the only thing that's now still plugged in is the TV feed. It's the A12 feed for my main machine and the access point. Those are the three things that are still connected and then well, obviously the van. Giant Everything else Every is ripped out and disconnected. And then obviously the router and the one gig switch is the only thing that's still plugged. So the rack is pretty much as offline as it really can be before we start pulling shit out of it. <laughs> Yeah, actually commenting in chat will, will, will like cost you like one, one dollar per comment. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Nekolai Incorporation. Try and make your network work before you move. This. 
with the last thing to move being the router. So, what I am gonna do is uh, move up. Oh boy. And it can stand with one. It's fine. Untie one. Then untie the second boy. Then we screw in you. Then we screw in you. There we go. So, I've moved that up, then I'll untie the rest of the router. There we go. Then I'll pull forward the router enough, I'll spend the bracket, to the point where I can... Uh, oh yeah, I need a small boy for that. Good shit. So, to the point where I can unscrew the bracket. Oh. I'm gonna ask for kind of rebuilding or whatever the fuck's happening downstairs, but it's something. So I mean, our TV and everything is gonna die for a whole period while this reboots. Once we move it, but oh well. I guess we'll survive. And I'm also realizing a thing. If I do end up living in my new flat, the one I'm getting now by the municipal for, you know, a period of time, then uh, we're gonna probably install Cat6, you know, whatever STP. Or FTP or whatever. And then we got the... Uh... Oh, fuck. So then we gotta take and rebond this patch panel. It hasn't been bonded here because all the cables have been used here besides from, well, that quote-unquote outdoor-rated cable which was more a mistake purchase than anything. It has just been regular U UTP, so... Yeah. Wasn't really needed. Oh yeah, it's raining and windy and whatever else, yes. So... That's gonna die. So... Oh well, die and die. It's gonna play until... It's buffer is up. Then it's gonna die. Yeah, no. Minor details. So. Oh, there you go. There is there there she went. There we go. So that is in ground in theory. My whole network ran off a lot.
Now the question is this for 10. Do we just fucking rip the hardware out of it and just, you know. Well, the only problem with ripping the hardware out of it is that all my like Intel CPUs use, you know, whatever else. Things for the, for putting CPUs in and stuff. It's currently like down in the bottom of like a closed box or whatever now, so it's like, eh. Kind of don't want to tear that out now. And you are you gonna have to just, you know, go like that on whichever side of the box. I think I could put it over here, but the problem then is that then that would happen. So really, this one just needs to stay over on that side, so you know, good shit. Then we're done with this, boy. Pretty much. Then we need that other flat head, wherever the fuck that has been put now. Flat head. Where the fuck did my flat head for this bitch go? Is it laying down in here? No. Ah, oh, then where the fuck? <sighs> this is fine, we can't have nice things. Well, oh well, I guess. Well, I mean, this shit's also bent. It seems, but... Oh. Uh. <coughs> so, yeah. This is the server. This is what we're looking at. Uh, so, we got my two SSDs there. We got two HDDs there. Two HSD here. We got fucking inside of here we got my hdd hello entirety of hololive becoming alive <sighs> then here we got the normal just as you all know perk 200 uh dell hba flashed in it mode <sighs> so it's in the internal storage slot then we got one PCI 8x slot here with an X520 gig card. And then we got this other riser which I did snip out a cutout in for a GPU. But then I realized that uh, I have to do that on the bottom slot because, you know, whatever else. And here is the thing. <clears throat> if... The intrusion switch was on this riser. I could have just removed this riser altogether and then just slapped a 16x extension on there and called it a day. But uh, because of that, I can't remove this card because if I do. Then this server would blare 24-7. Then and complain about a chassis warning. On a 720, I could probably have told it to ignore that. But I know for a fact I can't on a 710 or a 410 or whatever for that matter case, shape or form. So good shit. So here's the heat sinks. Sloppy, sloppy heat sinks, uh, which I am gonna take and swap thermal paste on all these eventually. Actually, I am probably with this one too, uh, because I believe this is the PCIe bridge for both of these. So basically, the south bridge, 
their bed and then we have this fucking icy fucking clock or whatever and then we have all our rams we got two sticks or two sticks three sticks of uh, samsung whatever random ass eight gig sticks of like what DR3 is like fucking 1333 or whatever. Maybe. Or these are 16 gig sticks. Huh? 16 gig sticks, 16 gigabyte. Wait, that all of these 16 gigabyte? Mm. Huh. Never mind, so they're actually 16 gig. Huh. Interesting. Thought those were only 8 gigs. But these, however... Uh, these uh, Hynex R12162900. These are, for a fact, 8 gig sticks. These are 8 gigs. A PC3. Uh, they are Dell certified. Dims and uh, what I want to do is get a lot of Dell Dims just cause Dell And fill up the whole server uh, Which will give me a theoretical so 8 gig so 16 32 16 32 48 64 72, so 72 gigs per CPU, which means 144 gigs total. 72, 72, so 70, 70, that's 140. So 100 and uh, so 144, yeah, 144 gigs. Well. I suppose. I suppose. Yeah, the reason why is because you fucked up. So we are back and I'm sitting here fucking writing a whole ass document to give the people when I move out so that way they know of everything that's happening here. They know that the cables in the wall has been upgraded to 2.5 and that they're now on 216 amp. Well, I'm gonna move over from the 25 to 216 amp, so I'm gonna throw that on the reserves for this apartment maybe later tonight and then remove that uh though that 16 amp and 25 amp rcbos that we installed stalled and bring that over to the new place and then take and print out the original sonic ol uh paper and put in there uh, and then just add a tiny paper with an extra note that that has been installed or that uh, the wires have been moved from the original 10 amps over to the 16 amps reserves which were already put up for uh, for this apartment uh, so that way that's all in specking good and whatever else and i'm gonna try and do that later tonight slash over the weekend early tomorrow morning so that way that's done before Wednesday, because on Wednesday they're going to be doing an RCBO test. And I'd prefer to have that over on the regular courses. I mean, they will still see that the wires has been upgraded and there will still be a note there that the wires has been upgraded. Uh, but uh, at least at that, uh, when they test it, probably the people that's testing it won't really care. They will just test that they actually go off. And I already know that they go off because I took and tripped my shit into ground fault for not that long ago. So I know for a fact that works. So that's not a problem. But I want to move it back over to the 16 amp because the 25 amp is not needed anymore. Because the entire rack that's currently handling my heating is pretty much going to be taken offline. 
uh, over the weekend, I think. And then the kitchen ovens will just get the vagos in there to go back to the regular circuitry. And then I'll just throw the regular thermostat back in it. Because those will just stay. Uh, although... Uh, that's where we're gonna run into another problem, because I gotta move the... The boy that's currently standing here doing the heating. I need to move this one back down there and I need to take pieces of this wire that's currently going to there. Run it back up through, uh, through here um, to, um, to, to give that power again uh, from that outlet like it originally was to power that oven. Because there was actually other ovens here before, but I installed new ovens, smaller ovens, to kind of shed some load. Since with all my other equipment here pushing out heat, we don't really need, you know, a thousand and fifty watts of heat. So, because of that, I swapped them out to 200 watt heaters. That's probably gonna have to be upgraded in the future by whoever moves in, but, you know. That's fine, shit. Fire extinguisher, I'm just gonna leave it. I've already mounted it. Uh, once the oven comes out, I'm gonna take and try and reinstall that entire, you know, oven protection, whatever the fuck circuitry that I ripped the fuck out of there. Because, oh my god, and I swear if my new apartment also have that, I'm ripping that out there too. Because those, those shits, I just, I don't care if they say, ah, oh, it's because of that, ah, oh, it's because for that. Other people maybe, for me, no, because they go on my fucking nerves. So, we have a three page paper. Or I guess more three and a half. Of info. To the people owning this place. Over what's been done, what hasn't been done, and what's recommended to be done. So that's all fixed and together and whatever else. The rain has slowed down drastically, so I may a tad later decide to slunk over to Jan's place and uh, pick up so bubble it up and a box and whatever else. <laughs> and I feel it's about time for gamer subs. So good shit. Then, <sighs> well, I'm gonna probably ask my aunt or whomever else for like uh, 200 kron so I can buy another set of 10 boxes. Oh, Trondheim Commune. Trondheim Commune, so good shit. And then see whatever I get into. All the posters will be put into the same box as all the anime stuff, that's fine. The posters that's on the, the poster that's on the wall there will be rolled up and put in the poster box it came in. Because that's actually funny enough from Uvu Market. So that's fun shit. And uh, now... The kind of fun thing is that uh oh my. I think it's because I'm a bit paranoid because uh that's so good 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 shit. So we'll see what I get into. Uh one thing that is going we are gonna do eventually is that the um the modem and the new router is going to get bolted to the wall right here, because here is the coax point. Which actually carries all of that. Oh, well, one of them is a coax, the other one is a TV aerial or whatever, which I don't think that TV aerial even works, but... It's there. So good shot. So yeah, that's where we are. So good shot. But I think with that, I'm gonna call this is for the first video of the quote unquote moved out, been moved out for however long vlogs. 
If you guys enjoy this madness and a half life, we would greatly really appreciate it. And as always, check out the install below for my socials and all of that. And until further notice, stay tuned, stay awesome, and I could have the heck out of here.